So what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Nightmare Culture and yet again I'm going to talk about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The game's just kind of on my mind right now and I don't feel like I was able to express everything I wanted in the last video talking about the DLC ideas. And I'm also kind of wanting to discuss where they're kind of faltering right now. But before I get into any of that, I want to just state that I'm not here to bash Gun Media. I think Gun Media is a great uh, company. What they did with Friday 13th was incredible. Also, Layers of Fear 2 was, was a great game. I just have some concerns, and I believe others do as well. There, there's a lot of positives and also a lot of negatives that are coming along with Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and it's kind of frightening considering the game's only been out since September. First off, let's talk about the new DLC that releases as the time of me doing this recording two days from now. So October 24th. So here's what we know. We're getting a new Leatherface. It's a Nicotero. I believe that's how you say it. Nicotero. Anyways, it's a new design. It's going to have a new chainsaw as well as a new kill. Then you have your victim outfits. Uh, you have a bundle for all the victim outfits. And then you have the Slaughter Family Bloody Skins. And it's basically just a bloody skin set for the Sawyer family. What I want to discuss here is a few things. One, the prices. And I know people have already made a lot of videos on this, but $15.99 for a new Leatherface. I wouldn't say just skin. I mean, just anyways, we'll, we'll say it's a new Leatherface. $15.99. Now what I want to do is give a little comparison back to Friday 13th with the new Jason coming out was $2.99. That is a huge jump in price. Now I get it. You can say that inflation's a little crazy now, but that's a little much of a difference. Now, of course, some people are going to say, well, this leather face is similar to Savini Jason. No. Okay. Because Savini Jason was a, an exclusive. This is coming out to the public. Meaning there is no difference between this Leatherface and any Jason that came out for the Friday 13th game, whether it's part five, part seven, all that. They were all the same price of two ninety nine, at least from what I can remember. Now, when we go to the clothes, the clothes are four dollars and ninety nine cents each uh, for the pack. So I think that comes with like five different outfits or something per character. That one, that one's fine, because if I remember correctly. Friday 13th's outfits, like some of them were free and some of the emotes were free, but they would only give the set every now and then. Most of the time it was $1.99 per outfit, so that makes sense. I'm fine with that one. You get the whole bundle, you'll save like 5 bucks, I believe is what it is, because the bundle's $19.99. And then you have the bloody skins, and that's $4.99. I guess that's fine too. I mean, that to me is not the issue. The biggest issue is the cost of the new leather face. I just, I'm kind of concerned on why that major jump. But is that really what we need right now? Do we need outfits? Sure, yes, gotta have that, right? That was what made Friday 13th so funny was especially when they do the Halloween outfits and the 80s retro outfits, That that's fine, I love that. Do we need a new leather face right now? I would like that, I think that's great, but like I said, 15.99 is a little ridiculous. But I think we need a new map as well because that was one thing that Gun Media did so well with Friday 13th was they would come out with a new Jason and a new map at the same time. And I just think they need to give us something else than just the leather face. But on the flip side of that, you see a lot of people commenting the fact that having a lot of issues with wait time for matches if they're on the old gen systems. I'm currently playing my game on a PS5, so I do not experience that. But I can understand how frustrating that can be. So I think that should be their number one focus right now. But I also wanted to say that something that Gun Media did so well with Friday 13th is they gave us a roadmap. And they have not done anything of that kind of nature with Text Chainsaw Massacre. I don't know, I just, I felt like that roadmap was so incredible because everyone got to see what was coming next. Yes, of course, we all know there was legal issues that killed some of the bottom projects, but still, to see a roadmap and know what's coming, I think was smart. I don't feel like Gun Media has evolved forward. It's almost like they've taken a few steps backwards, and that, that to me, is what is most concerning. So what do you guys think? Do you think Gun Media is doing just fine? Do you think their service is working with the customers or trying to make sure they're getting everything fixed? Or do you agree with me, the fact that they really first off need to fix any issues that are going on with wait time for old gens, need to give some new maps, and definitely get rid of the price of $15.99. I get it. It's probably nothing they can do now. I mean, I guess they could do anything. But that's just... That's a staggering number for just a 
a new leather face with a chainsaw and a different kill. We got the same thing with Friday the 13th for a much cheaper price. Do you think they would also do really well by giving us kind of a roadmap, a calendar of what is coming out and when it's coming out to show that they are invested in this game? And I think that will make fans and the player base stay invested in it instead of losing its fan base too quickly. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor, give it a thumbs up, and please do not forget to subscribe.